Hi, this is Steve Fabian. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of using the Blueprint CSS framework to control the layout formatting of your module's output. The uh, technology template uh, includes a, a number of uh, open source frameworks and libraries uh, pre-configured, pre-installed, um, but rather than just uh, hard coding, the, you know, including the DLLs and the template and the and hard coding the configuration, um, what I've done is I've included the NuGet package feed for those uh, components. So when you create a new module using the technology template, you'll see there's a packages.config file. And that includes the uh, information that NuGet needs in order to be able to allow you to uninstall those or upgrade them. Uh, so uh, if you're building a module and, and you don't want to use Blueprint CSS or you don't need AutoMapper, um, you can use the NuGet package manager to remove them from your module. Um, Similarly, if a uh, an upgrade comes out, a new version of Blueprint comes out, you can use the NuGet Package Manager to upgrade that component within your uh, within your module. So, uh, this video we're going to talk about using the Blueprint CSS framework. Um, it's a uh, it's a CSS style sheet a series of style sheets and and resources um, and. The basic concept is you wrap a div around all of your module's output. You give that a class, a container, um, with some additional classes to control the uh, the formatting. And then within your container, you create all your divs, uh, which will hold each of the components of your module's output. And then you apply column classes to those. And then again, there are additional attribute classes to control the size of the columns and the layout of those columns. So I'll uh, just do a real quick demo of how that, that, uh, that used within the technology template uh, for your module's output. So if we take a look at, uh, this is a, a module to-do list uh, just created using the technology template. I haven't done any development yet. It's just as uh, if you saw the previous uh, video on uh, installing and using the template, this is right where we left off. Um, so uh, we'll take a look at within the views folder. Um, you'll see it comes with a uh, with four views: the main view, an about view, a demo view, and the settings for the module settings view. Um, but we'll take a look at the main view. And if we look at this in a browser, the main view is is a uh, a single row with two columns. The first column contains the uh, logo, uh, Good Dogs logo, and then the second column contains all the the text that you see here. And if you look at the markup. Um, I'm just going to take out all the knockout stuff because I really want to focus on the blueprint in this video. We'll talk more about the knockout JS in a, in a future video. So I'm just going to take all that stuff out. So you see we have a main div as a class container and a span of 24 columns. So it's going to break up the total width of this page uh, where my module is uh, uh, on the skin, this total width, and break that up into 24 equal columns with a little bit of gutter spacing between each one. Um, then we're going to define two don't need an ID in this case. We're not rep we're not going to be referencing it with any uh, code. So we're just defining a container that's going to span the entire width of our uh, our page, and then we're going to define two columns. Uh, first column is going to span two of those, and in there we're going to stick the uh, image, which is our the Good Dogs logo, and then we're going to define a second column, which is going to span the remaining 22 columns. So again, uh, the whole module is going to span 24 columns. I've got two columns for the image, 22 columns for the text. And then what in Blueprint CSS, what you do is you add the last class. Uh, that tells it that it's the end of the row. So if I were to then add another third div, that would be the first column on the second row. So um, define your, your rows by defining any n, n number of columns, just making sure that you have the last class um, associated with the last div that you want to display on that row. So let's extend this a little bit. Let's add a second row with, uh, with a few uh, co couple columns of information. So we'll add a div, we'll give it a class, again we're going to call it column, and we'll span, let's make this two columns of uh, equal, equal length. So we'll do a span 12. So this is going to take uh, half of our page. Um, and uh, we'll add some text in here so we can see that. Let's just add a, a header and we'll say this is column one. And then let's uh, and we'll do a, a paragraph and in there we'll throw some uh, uh, just some placeholder text. And what I'm going to do is I'm just copy this, paste that, and then so we've got two columns, both 12, so we're splitting our page in half. Uh, this will be column two. And I'm going to do is just uh, specify that this is the last column on that row. Okay, let's go back, take a look at our page, and you'll see we now have a second row, two columns of data, equally sized, 
12 and 12 um, and uh, a little bit of gutter space between it but blueprint CSS manages the uh, wrapping and the sizing of those columns within that page okay so just a real quick demo and there's a lot of things if you wanted to put a um, a border between the two um, there's a, a concept in Blueprint CSS of a call border. Um, it actually takes up a column and throws a vertical line in the center of that column. So we'll just make the left one 11 and we'll add call border. We should tell it to then uh, on the right side take a column and put a, a splitter basically between the two. So now you see you've got um, a vertical bar between the two columns. Okay, so that's just a real quick demo of using Blueprint CSS. Um, I really suggest you go to blueprint.org uh, take a look at their wiki. They've got some nice information. There's a ton of classes um, to help you do formatting, um, a whole bunch of message box type classes and other things uh, where you so you can really fine tune the layout of your your module. But as you can see, uh, the markup then becomes very simple. It's just a question of your divs, the content that you're going to place in each div, and then using the proper blueprint classes to control the the layout. Uh, and the formatting of, the, of your data. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we'll talk about um, uh, data. We'll talk about the Entity Framework, WCF Data Service to provide your data layer and then uh, the following video after that we'll go into Knockout.js and how you can do your uh, MVVM style development uh, using the Knockout.js library. Thanks for watching.